Hi, I'm Mark with Alliance Outdoor Lighting. Today we're going to be talking about replacing and troubleshooting an existing ledge light. We have an SL75 on this wall that we're having some problems with, so let's go through the steps on how to check and see if it's a fixture, a wire connection, and then how to replace it if it is a bad fixture. So the first thing that we want to do is check the wire connection going to the fixture and make sure that there's voltage there. We pulled this wire up and traced it back. This is where the connection is. So I'm gonna take my voltmeter, V with the squiggly line on it, and I'm gonna put one on each one of these. And we have 13.7 volts, so that we know that now it's not a voltage issue, it's gonna be something else. So we traced this wire back to the back side of the fixture, and as we were looking at it, we noticed that we have a single-sided break right here. So this is most likely the culprit and the reason that this light was flashing. So we have this wire stripped back now and we're gonna make the connection to reestablish the voltage to the fixture. This is very tight in here and whenever I have a situation where the wire is very tight and especially just making uh, a single splice, I like to use a butt connector. So here we have a butt connector. You wanna make sure that these are grease filled. So we filled this one with grease and we're gonna go ahead and attach this wire back up. The other thing I like to do is put this in, the, in your pliers or your crimping tool and don't try and hold this wire necessarily. Just press it down and then crimp. Give it a little tug, make sure it's on there and you're good to go. So in this scenario, it was actually a wiring issue or a break in the wire that caused the light not to work. Now, we're gonna show you how to replace this LED bar in here in case that is the problem. There's two screws that go up through the mounting bracket. So the first thing we're gonna do is just remove those two screws so that we can drop this light bar out. So now we have this LED bar pulled out. This is a great time to mention you wanna be able to have some slack behind this. So when this gets installed, either a small piece of conduit or at least drill a hole through this so that you can pull this wire back and forth. You can make this connection here. You can cut this and splice it together and put it back in here. But this becomes a lot easier if you have some slack here and you can pull this wire through and then fish it back through the other way.